Today is finally the last day where we're gonna be finalizing the wide body for the hard body. If you guys don't know, I made, I believe, three parts on making the wide body and I pretty much showed every detail of what I did in order to get the wide body effect. I had some ideas that I was playing with. So one of them was to weld in the bed sides and mold them in, that way they look like they were original and just a little bit wider. And then the other one was to rivet them in place. The only thing is with rivets, you can't remove it unless you drill out the rivets. So what I did is I got riv nuts. So pretty much what riv nuts are is you get a threaded piece, I'll show you guys right now, a threaded piece that goes into the factory bed or wherever you want. And then you have a bolt that goes in and out. That way you could remove them if you want to. Now I went with this option because I got this bed for free, the ones that I stole the bed sides off of and cut that. So you can see they're a little bit wavy and they're not that straight and it kind of bugs me. So for now, I threw them on since this is kind of the prototype and I was just messing around with the idea and all that. But I do plan on redoing it. So uh, if I am able to take it on and off, I could just get a nice clean bed and cut the bed sides off and redo all this and then bolt it on and we should be good to go and uh, I don't want to have to drill anything out. All right, so I'm gonna run you through pretty quick as to what's going on. So this right here is the roof nut itself. So it has threads down here where it looks smooth. And right here, the part that has little ridges, that's gonna get crushed and it has these ridges, that way it can actually grab on. So if you didn't have that and you screwed this in or crushed this, I guess you could say, um, and you unthreaded it, it would just start spinning and you would never be able to get it off unless maybe you welded it. But that's what these are there for. That way you can actually grab onto your body panel. So right here I have one. This is what the final product is gonna look like. So right here, you can see that it's crushed. This part right here is where the threads are and where the little ridges are, that's what got crushed. So your body panel is gonna sit in between this lip up here and in between the crushed portion, which is right there. So that's where the body panel will sit. And then all you'll have is this, like that. So then you just grab your desired hardware um, and then you would screw that on like that. Now the only thing is, I went with countersunk. So countersunk, you can see it right there. There's different tapers and degrees and all that, but uh, I went with this. And the reason I did that is because you can grab a little bit more surface area. So if you had a flat one, you would just get that much surface area, which I would say would be maybe like an inch, I guess. Whereas you put a little bit of beauty washer on there and you get up to like, let's say inch and a half. So it's a little bit more and it looks pretty. So it's a, it's like a two for one deal. Sure they sell kits like this that come with everything, but I kind of bought mine individually. I bought my Riv nuts by themselves. I bought uh, matching hardware with different lengths. I think I'm gonna run longer ones up top and smaller bolts in the bottom since there's less uh, clearance behind the bed in the bottom. And then I just went with uh, blue anodized for my beauty washers. One more thing, you're gonna need a RivNut gun. This is just one of the cheaper end ones. I think it's about 50 bucks. You can probably get even cheaper than that. Uh, but they also have some that you just push a button and they're electronic and all that. So it depends how much you're gonna do this and how fancy you wanna get with it. But pretty much what you do is you find the desired thread pitch. There's different ones. Um, you would thread it in like this. Drill out your hold so this fits in perfect. And then once you put it in, you are just going to crush it and once you crush it it'll pretty much be stuck in there and you could uh adjust your depth on that way you don't over crush them or under crush them so uh one thing i recommend is you do some test pieces with these so i got a few extra i think i believe i got like 10 extra and i've just been messing around making sure that i have my depth where i want it i'm gonna waste one that way i could show you guys but right here i drilled a hole with the 3 8 bit now we'll slide this in it should be pretty tight you don't want to make it so it's loose and it falls out so there you go that's what it's going to look like from the outside the outside won't change at all but now what we're going to do is we're going to crush that so you just want to thread it on make sure that the thread that you have here is the same as your bolts that way it all flows because it comes with different you can see different thread pitches and all that so if you were to try to use this one it wouldn't thread in or you would mess up the threads in here and then your bolts wouldn't work so you kind of have to make it all match you can't run different hardware with a different rev nut you have to match it just like anything else uh, but yeah now you can see there's tension on there so now you grab it put it in there and you squeeze it you have to squeeze it really really hard give you guys a little close-up it's kind of hard because it's falling off but Now 
There you go, you can see that it's now all crushed. Now I set my depth to what I want it to, so now I can't squeeze any more than this since I have the little bump stop on there. So now what you do is you unthread it up here. And there you are, you have a successful rev nut. Now you get your beauty washer. You have something like that. And then now you just thread it in. I got all of them installed. You can see them all right there. Now I do have a bit of a gap right here and my body line is a little bit lower. So in order to correct this, I would have to move the whole over fender up then I would have to trim the top but like I said these are like a prototype so I'm gonna be redoing these and then when I redo them I'm gonna make them line up perfectly because that kind of bugs me um, but yeah I got the, the fitment dialed so that will probably never rub unless I I'm driving on the freeway when I hit a really big bump or something and the suspension uh, squats but other than that I don't see it scraping it doesn't rub when I uh, go out of my driveway so that's good so I have it pretty much good to go now it's crazy how good it looks these wheels just pop with yellow sorry if there's some wind noise my favorite part is that, that it looks like it's extremely tight and you would think that it rubs but there's actually clearance in there I know to some people that it won't look like clearance but yeah that's more clearance than I had before that and then the zero camber looks pretty damn good. Can't go wrong with having zero camber in the rear. Now I gotta do this one. It's pretty much the same thing. Remove all my self tappers and then uh, drill the holes. Put the rivet nuts in and then drill the holes on this to be a little bigger to accept the hardware that I'm running and then bolt it up. Should be good to go. There it is. Now the only thing for this to be complete is I have to remove it one more time and cut all of the original bedside out. Probably gonna go about two inches from the hardware down and then cut all that out. And then I'm thinking it's gonna be a little flimsy so I'm gonna have to back it up with some uh, tube structure and all that, which is not that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, so once I do that, then I think this should be 100% done. But I don't think I'm gonna film that because I don't think you guys need to see that. But now it looks so much better than having the self tappers on there. Not only that, but they look good and they'll be able to grab a little bit more surface area than the self tapper would or any other bolt for that matter. I know this video was pretty short compared to my other videos, but I still hope that I got to cover everything and in case I didn't, then you guys can uh, ask me questions through uh, Instagram, you guys can DM me or you guys can comment down in the comment section below and I'll answer them for whatever question you guys have as far as the wide body or anything else on the truck. That's going to complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So guys.